is almost upon us in Australia, Melbourne. It is fabulous. I've got my Hoya Obovata variegata here, growing, growing, growing. She's still living in a 10 centimeter pot, has now become top heavy and tends to topple over. So my spring preparation for my Hoyas is going to include me repotting them from their 10 centimeter pot into a 14 centimeter pot if it needs it, but I will also be making a DIY trellis with some aluminium rod. It's one meter long and I'll show you how I do that. Let's start. So what I'm going to be doing for my DIY trellis is really very simple. This wire that I've got is very, very soft. It's very easy to bend and all I'm going to be doing is really just bending it. And in order for me to, to bend it, I've got my ceramic pot here. It's a bit heavy. So I'm going to be using this surface here as a guide just so that my trellis is not wonky. You could, you know, measure out what is 50 centimeters and put a marker there and you could do all sorts of things that make it a bit more technical, but I can't be bothered. I'm just gonna go down there and hope it goes well. So I'll bring you down. So this is my pot here. This is my rod and I know the middle is round about there. So I'm gonna use my body as a counterweight. Normally you, you can use like a drawer or anything, but because I couldn't do that and make this video at the same time, I'm just bending that and that's done. See, that gives it that shape. And that's, you know, I just bend it over and you know, give or take a few, you know, a couple of centimeters, but I'm, I'm happy with that. And when I put this in the lecker, it's not gonna really matter that they're not completely equal because it's just gonna stand there and it's no worries. So I'll do a few more because I need more. So again, just an approximation of where half is. I've got my pot there and, whoa, big muscles. Ah, there we go. There we go. I'm sure there's better ways of doing something like this. If you've got like equipment or something, you know, you're pretty handy. I, I don't have any of that stuff. Um, not very handy and see that one was even better so i'm just going to make a few more okay so those are my trellises i'm quite happy with that and because of the material that they're made out of i'm not worried about rusting or anything like that so i've got 10 of these i'm doing really really well and they're like three Australian dollars each. So that's about $30 for 10 trellises, which is not bad. And these are Australian dollars. I think that's pretty good. It's pretty decent. They're gonna hold my Hoyas up and it's gonna be really fabulous. So there's a link in the description below to what this is. And if you're not in Australia, at least you can get an idea of what it is you're looking for. And you can go find something similar and do something similar. But that's what they look like. In the past, I've actually made them and covered them up with some sort of um, jute. Look at that one. So if you don't like the silvery look, you can cover it up with something and that, that looks pretty good too. That's what that looks like. It's exactly the same concept and I just covered it up to make it look pretty. I think I did two. I got a bit tired and decided bugger that. I'm just gonna have the silver because I can't be bothered with this. But still, it looks, it looks good. I, I'm, you know, not too sad about it. Okay, let's do some repotting. This is my Hoya Public Alex Splash. Just look at that. That trellis doesn't even stay in there. The plant is just going every which way, living in a 10 centimeter pot. Just taking that plant out of that lecker. and I'll remove it from that trellis that is pretty much doing nothing at this point. There's no need to remove the lecker from the roots that are attached. I'll just put that plant aside and put that label next to it so I know what that is. I'll put this lecker in a bucket to be reused for some other plants. Next up is my Hoya Matilda Splash. That's another plant 
that's just really gone gangbusters since I've had her. And she's living, it's not even a 10 centimeter pot. I don't even know what that is. I'm just gonna take that out and I'll put that aside. Next plant is my Hoya Chuk. Again, lots and lots of growth on this one. So out you come. Ooh, look at that. Look at those roots. This plant is just really, ooh. Doing well, so I am not going to detach those roots from that lecker. I'm just going to leave that as it is and I'll put that in the next pot. Next plant is my Hoya Snowball. That's my snowball there. Very, very top heavy. Taking that out of the pot. And that as well is quite almost getting root bound. So I'll leave that as it is. Next is my Hoya Crinkle. That is my crinkle. And oh, that is also, it's really hard to get it out of that pot. Really, really hard. Oh. I'll take it off that little trellis. That is just as useless as anything about now. Last but not least is my Hoya Obovata Variegata. So that again, look at the roots on that mama. She is so root bound. Oh my goodness. It's so hard to get that out. Oh, look at that. Absolutely root bound Hoya. Completely, this Hoya needed a report, seriously. This is my Hoya. Obovata variegata. Look at that. How root bound is that Hoya? That's what that looks like. See, this is the trellis that I was talking about. So I've got that jute there and I've got the normal aluminium there. When you look at that aluminium wire, it's absolute, there's no rust on that whatsoever. So for those of you who are worried about the fact that this is going to be going in a hydroponic place just look at that this has been there for over a year so that's looking really really good and if you are going to put that jute wire off I would recommend keeping that off where the lecker is going to be so it doesn't get moist and yucky but that is my obovata variegata just totally root bound this is my hoya chuk which is also quite, you know, those roots are just really going crazy. I've got my other one. This is my Hoya Crinkle going insane as well. And that right there, that's my snowball. So really, I think, you know, we can all agree that these Hoyas needed a repot and that is really going to be so good for them come springtime when they're going to be growing, growing and growing. So for my repotting, I've got heaps and heaps and heaps of lecker that I've pre-soaked and I've got my 14 centimeter pots. These are 14 centimeters and they have lots of additional ventilation holes. I make these pots myself. If you haven't seen how I do that, click on the link above and that'll take you straight to it. So I'm gonna bring you down and we will get repotting. So in order to pot up my plants, I'll put a little bit of lecker in there. I've got my potting top done up because I don't want lecker flying everywhere. And we shall start with the snowball, with the crinkle. So I put that there and yeah, that's right in there. That's looking pretty good. And I will just put my trellis in. So let's not forget about the trellis. We need to trellis this up as well. So remember I said, even if it's not even, it doesn't really matter because it's going to go in the pot anyway. So there you go. That's in that pot. It's stable. Who cares that they were not completely aligned? You know, I, I don't care. So we'll just fill this up with letter. So just making sure that you squeeze that pot so that that lecker settles. Okay, so that is my snowball 
repotted with my trellis attached. So I'll put this aside and do the others. Grab my pot. Put some letter in. I'll grab my ovovata variegata. That's already got a trellis on, so that's good. And I just fill that up with lacquer. So this plant here is done. It makes for a much, much more stable plant. Let us have the Matilda Splash. That's still a little bit little, so I need to put a bit more lacquer in that. And I think I'll just get rid of, I'll get rid of this uh, store label, just so it's easier for me to put the plant up on the trellis. Just get rid of that, get rid of that. Put a bit more lacquer in that. Grab my trellis. Put that there. Grab my little planty. Oh, hang on. There. Position that well. And remember, when you're positioning plants in lecker, you're always better off putting the plant deeper than shallower because if the plant is deeper, you can always pull it up. You can't really squish it down like you can do in soil. So that's, that's a tip. So see how that's, that's pretty deep in there. So I'm gonna wanna pull that up a bit. And that is my Matilda Splash. I could, if I wanted, actually have that in there so I don't immediately have to make a label for it. That's my Matilda Splash there, looking really, really good. And if you're finding value from this video, please don't forget to hit the like button because it really does help my channel. See, the thing I'm starting to freak out a little bit about now is I might not have enough lecker for this exercise. Starting to get a little bit worried. Okay, that is my public calyx. I think that looks good. And I'll put that, oops, I'll put that trellis there. Sometimes you just need to bend it a little bit more so it can stay there. And that's good. And I'll just fill that up with lecker. Got my little label there. That is looking good. This is my snowball. Look at that. You know, I've got two of these trellises there. Just really trying to buy myself some time before I could put up a proper trellis, but that has got to go now because that is just so unacceptable. It just will not do, will not do. That is my snowball. Those are its roots. How gorgeous is that? That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, grab my plant, whack that there, and I am liking that. So I will fill that up with lecker. I have now run out of lecker and I will not be able to do one plant because I just don't have any more. I didn't prepare any more. So that's, that's, that's the thing. You know, you always need more lecker every time. Anyhow, these are some of my plants and they've been repotted and they've got a trellis, but the plants are still all over the place. So what I'm going to do is grab my little Velcro plant ties. So I've got very, very small ones. I've cut up very tiny ones and I'm going to use them to actually attach my plants to the trellis. And it is just that easy. You can get little clips, but you know, I'm just like, can't be bothered again with the whole bothering thing. I am quite a lazy plant parent in that regard, but I also believe in using what I've got to hand a lot. So if I don't need to buy something, 
I won't and I'll just try and make use with what I've got because it is quite expensive taking care of plants. It does get quite pricey and I'd rather buy a plant than buy a lovely looking butterfly to go on my trellis. Although those little butterflies and dragonflies do look awesome, I would love them, but I just can't justify buying them, if you know what I mean. So yeah, there, that's, that's that. I think the Velcro plant tie does the job just as well. Look at that, look at that. She looks absolutely glorious. So that's, you know, on one side and I'll do up this other bit that's growing on the other side and it'll look beautiful. You know, I don't need any dragonflies to help it look beautiful. It will look absolutely gorgeous. And that's, that's that one. Look at how glorious that looks. That looks beautiful. So I'll do the other ones as well so i've got lots of these velcro plant ties trying to have a back and a front if if it's possible you know i think this one this will be the front so i'll arrange that to be like this and then i'll grab that one and being really gentle the last thing you want to do is break off your hoya that's just that would be a bit disastrous Okay, that's one side. And sometimes these plants can be so unruly, it's really hard to sort of direct them. And that's why using a trellis is really good because you can train it before it starts to get really wild and it's hard for you to... Yes, I like that. There we go. That is my crinkle. That is my Hoya crinkle. That looks glorious. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh. Mama Snowball. Okay, this will be the front. Hang on. What are we gonna, what have we got here? We've got three. We've got three bits. There's this one, there's this one, and there's that one. Goodness, okay. Attach bit one. Okay, that's bit one. I don't know if bit two, I think bit two. It's so woody and I've actually been told that you're not meant to cut off these like almost dying bits of the Hoya. I don't know. Okay, I quite like the look of that. I, I don't know what's gonna happen with that to be honest with you, but whatever. Last but not least, this one looks nice and civilized. That's that one. That looks really, really good. So these are my Hoyas that are now living in 14 centimeter pots, are trellised up and are just looking fabulous. And they are looking forward to the new spring growing season. I'm really, really happy with this job as I was really hoping to do six, but I did run out of Lekha. I wanted to talk to you guys about a little thing that YouTube's got going. It's called a thanks. It's called a super thanks. So if you watch something and you really like it, right at the top of the video, there's a, there's a little icon that says thanks. And when you click on that little icon, you're actually able to make a donation of however much much you like and that's just really fantastic because it helps me get new plant supplies helps me get new plants and just makes this channel so good and I just want to thank the first person who ever gave me a thanks I saw it and I was like what the heck is this so that was really really lovely it was really nice and it was just a lovely gesture to receive and just wanted to let you know if that's something you'd like to do just click on there and uh, thank away. So that's my Hoyas. And so this is just like the five. I still have heaps that I need to do because I couldn't do a video where I'm showing you me doing this to like 20 Hoyas. We'll be here all day. But I just wanted to show you how I get my Hoyas ready for spring. And these, I won't be changing these pots now for maybe a few years actually. So they're happy now. They'll be climbing on those trellises and hopefully we'll be seeing some blooms in not too long. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.